What inspired you on Slap Stones? Um, I don't know, probably the idea of it being really quiet and being nothing there except for the nature and the wildlife. And that was kind of inspiring because it was just silent except for the sound of birds and um, the wind and stuff like that. And um, other than that, it was sort of untouched by humans. When we went for the day trip to the Stiper Stones, we went up onto Cranberry Rock and the storyteller Sally Tong told us the story of Will of the Wisp and we were sat in a hole with loads of stones in it and the clouds were all rolling in and just as she finished the story they opened up and the sun came down and it was really atmospheric and beautiful and everybody agreed when we got home that it was our favourite part of the day and that was what we wanted to base the piece on. What inspired you about this type of stones? Um, the scenery and how we base like music upon the scenery and the weather and that. So, so what was the actual day like itself? Did you quite enjoy it? miserable. It was really good fun, but it was like quite miserable and dull. But that's how we base our music on. So it's pretty good. I found Manstone Rock uh, a real inspiration. Um, just it had just a lot more feeling about it than um, any of the other rocks and all the folklore that surrounds it. And um, it just kind of inspired me a lot more than any of them because that's where we were told all the stories. And so, um, yeah, that's my, that's my favourite rock and my, most of the inspiration. I really enjoyed the day. And the thing that probably struck me most about the Stive Stones was all the folklore surrounding it. Because I didn't really know much about that. I only knew about the Devil's Chair and that kind of thing. Whereas funny about Willow of the Wisp and it was really interesting. Yeah, well, it was because all the clouds were sitting on top of the hill, so it was, like, really moody and atmospheric, which is what we're trying to go for in the piece as well. How did you kind of translate that into 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 music? Um, uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, uh, the folklore around it was uh, Willow of the Wisp, and so we kind of took that and mixed it a bit with the feelings that we had when we sat on the rock and um, we came out with the riff to start off with and it basically just built up on the lyrics and um, took off from there basically. We tried to kind of build up suspense and made it most of it quite quiet because there wasn't anything there. Either that or we added some of the mystical parts into it like the myths of Devil's Chair and places like that so we made it most of it quite tense as well. Like playing with other people because you play on your own normally? Or? Uh, I'm in a band so I don't. Because um, I've got another band outside of this so um, I'm used to playing in groups. But it's been like different because it's different people and different styles and instruments. Right, and what, what about composing music on your own? So having some uh, like, new ideas? And um, well, we're trying to base it on like the stiper stones as it goes up and steeply down and then back up again. Or like the birds when they go up and down. So that's what we try to compose our music like. Eight. Yeah, we do. No, four. You know when we go back from A, yeah? We go to E, Lou. Lou, listen. You know when we go to A, then we go back to E, we do that for four, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we go and then we go back and forth like this. Yeah. We go straight into that pentatonic then, okay? Just four of these, four of A, four of B, no, eight, 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 four, then four. four. Okay, and then it's. Yeah, right, let's go all the way through. How many do we do then? Go on. How many do we do? Um. <laughs> eight, let's just say eight, yeah? Okay. Tap eight then. Alright, let's go. No, it's me and you go. Okay. You ready? Come on, tap, guys. sort of best bit of the whole project? Probably being able to miss a bit of school and going up the hills. Clark Tracy's drum maths class was good um, when he came in and like when he's been helping us because it's good to have some experience help. Like, he's been there and done it. So.
Has it been fun, this project? Oh yeah, it's been great fun. Uh, it's been a bit of up and down with uh, the creative side, but it's, it's, it hasn't been a second where it hasn't been fun. It's, it's been great. Yeah, uh, I think it's a really good experience and like, it's really um, like, uh, what's the word, like, fulfilling at the end when like you've got a whole piece that you made. It sounds good and everything. Yeah, I agree with Beth. I think it's really good, just the whole experience really and the fact that you know you've done something and the proof is in the end performance. So I'm kind of nervous but...